On these evenings, presidents naturally seek to find the sunny side of our national condition. But when President Obama claims that the state of our union is anything but grave, he must know in his heart that this is not true. The president did not cause the economic and fiscal crises that continue in America tonight, but he was elected on a promise to fix them, and he cannot claim that the last three years have made things anything but worse. The roots back to an America of promise and to a solvent America that can pay its bills and protect its vulnerable start in the same place. The only way up for those suffering tonight and the only way out of the dead end of debt into which we've driven is a private economy that begins to grow and create jobs, real jobs, at a much faster rate than today. Contrary to the president's constant disparagement of people in business, it's one of the noblest of human pursuits. The late Steve Jobs, what a fitting name he had, created more of them than all those stimulus dollars the president borrowed and blew. Out here in Indiana, when a business person asks me what he can do for our state, I say, first, make money. Be successful. If you make a profit, you'll have something left to hire someone else. It's absolutely so that everyone should contribute to our national recovery, including, of course, the most affluent among us. There are smart ways and dumb ways to do this. The dumb way is to raise rates in a broken, grossly complex tax system, choking off growth without bringing in the revenues we need to meet our debts. The better course is to stop sending the wealthy benefits they do not need and stop providing them so many tax preferences that distort our economy and do little or nothing to foster growth. It's not fair and it's not true for the president to attack Republicans in Congress as obstacles on these questions. They and they alone have passed bills to reduce borrowing, reform entitlements, and encourage new job creation, only to be shot down time and time again by the president and his Democratic Senate allies.